what's going on guys Hayden here bringing you another tutorial and uh, this tutorial will be a little different than your usual 3D tutorials that I do um, so as some of you may know Nick and I have been learning low poly and I think Nick and I are at the point where we can start doing tutorials on certain things like uh, I'm gonna do a tutorial right now on uh, how to make this landscape how to do the lighting how to do all of this the coloring all of it uh, so what you're going to do is, uh, here, let me just reset all the settings, Delete all this, uh, okay, so you have your, your, your default cinema, uh, so what you want to do first is you want to get a plane right here, and you want to set the width to a thousand, and the height to a thousand, and that's going to give you a nice little grid that you can work on, and uh, what you want to do is set the width segments to 40, and the height segments to 40. And uh, now what you want to do is you want to uh, push C on your keyboard once you click that and it's going to make it editable. And uh, now what you want to do is you want to delete these two orange circles. Now the font, which is called the font tag. Now the font tag is um, what smooth things out, which I'll show you in a, I'll show you an example. So I'm going to get this. Uh, Wait, whoops. Let me get this right here first. So, I'm just gonna do something. So, I'm gonna make something right here. So, if I render this out, it's gonna have nice curves and everything, okay? When I delete this font tag, it's, it's not gonna be so curvy. It's gonna have a nice low poly look. That's how low poly's made, is uh, deleting the font tag. So I'm just going to kind of redo all this, boom, boom. So delete your font tag once you have your plane. And uh, now what you want to do is you want to push F2 on your keyboard, and that is the overhead view of your grid. And you want to click your grid, and you want to go to uh, this, the box with the orange on the top, and that's going to make it where you can select each piece and edit it. But what you want to do now is once you have your thing selected, you want to go right click and then brush. And then you fall off, you want to go constant, and then, whoops, you want to go surface, radius 80, and strength 25%. So I'm going to select this, and I'm going to kind of, wait, whoops, I click brush, just going, hold on, oh, whoops, okay, I done goofed, guys, I done goofed, wait, why is it, hold on. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna oops, brush. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna start making our landscape. So I'm gonna start with the back by kind of making it kind of steep. So just kind of something around the lines of this. Okay. Very quickly here. Kind of boom, boom. And uh, kind of raise a little bit more. And also, if you want to lower something, just change the strength to the negative number, so negative 25. And uh, if I double click or like do this, it's going to push it down. So as you can see, whoops. So something around the lines of that. So it pushes it down. Okay. So, whoops, I'm just going to undo that. And uh, I'm going to zoom in, get a nice little angle, and I'm going to set a camera. You just click this camera on uh, R14, but. And then you just check this black little blocks here, and that does it. And then when I rotate, you know, edit something, I could check this camera, and it's going to go back to this position. So I'm going to kind of pre-render it, get, see how it looks. Um, yeah, I like it. And uh, I'm just going to duplicate this plane. Boom. And I'm just going to kind of uncheck the camera, bring it back here. I'm going to make the back a little bit steeper, so I'm just going to kind of... Do this, get the camera, and then get this, this, and then right click, brush, and just kind of, whoops, I want to set it to just 25. And we're just going to kind of do this, kind of give it spikes, a little spiky look, you could say. So I actually might get somewhat like this. I'm going to, I'm going to raise this a little bit, just a little bit, kind of bit, and then 
I like that. And for low poly, it's kind of scenery, so you don't want to have like little cracks here. So like down here, I'm just going to kind of lift it up a bit. Something around the lines of that. This is a good look. I like it. Uh, it's very low poly, and it has a nice look to it. So now we're going to do the materials. Um, here, let me delete these. So you're just going to double click down here. You're going to double click this, and uh, you're going to have a material. You want to go in color, go texture, and then go gradient. And then you want to double click on the gradient, and then just type 2D V, and that makes the black down and the white top. And then we're just going to take this black, and we're going to make it a nice, like, a tan, so something like this maybe. And then I'm going to have a nice red on the other side. And then I'm just going to kind of push it around the lines here. I'm going to get something here to kind of make it blend a little bit better. So if I, so something more on the lines of that. Something like that. Okay. And you're just going to drag this onto each plane like so. Actually, hold on, I done goofed. Switch it around. So, have the tan here. That, keep that the same, and then make this one red. That's the correct way. So, now that we've done that, I'm just gonna quickly render it out to give you a nice look of what it looks like. So I'm liking the way it looks so far. So now what you now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get mm, let's see here now we're gonna do our lighting. See, low poly landscapes aren't really that hard; they don't take too much time. But like if you're doing like a low poly moose, that will take some time because you gotta model the moose. But low poly landscapes pretty easy. So uh, now what we're gonna do lighting, which I found out a cool little way you could do lighting without getting a whole bunch of like light boxes above to get nice lighting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and we're going to go to physical sky. And then what we're going to do is go to time and location, set the time to April and then go and then yep, that'll work. And then already if I render it out, it's going to look it's going to have some nice lighting into it. It's going to look like an April lighting like yeah, you'll see. Um but that's gonna, you know, make it look a little bit more nicer, have a little more detail into it, but it still doesn't look that nice. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to add a sky. So we're gonna go into sky here. Right, yeah, and then we are going to double click, make a new material. We're gonna go color, texture, gradient. Uh, double click the gradient. Go 2D V, and it's gonna make this. And uh, we're going to make this one kind of like a an orange kind of look, something around the lines of uh, this. And then we're going to get a nice sky blue, so something like this. And I'm just going to drag this onto the sky. And I actually might make this a little bit more, actually. Do something like this, and then drag this up a bit. Sorry. Here, let's render out and see what it looks like. But, yeah, low poly is a really cool way if you want to learn, like, really good modeling, like modeling spaceships. Low poly is a good way to learn it, because low poly, you learn the basics of modeling. Like, so you still have to model things, but you just have to delete the font tag of things to make it low poly have this look. Um... So this is a good way to learn more about modeling. So I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna render the sky out so I can see what it looks like with the material. So we'll just give that a second. So, also if you want more low poly tutorials, leave a comment down below. Um, I could do more things like how to make isometric low poly things or model certain things. It's really up to you guys. Um, so, let's see here. Let's see how the sky looks. Um, see. Hold on. Wait, what is this? Oh, the material. Okay. So now that we have that, uh, you don't really need that. Take off, uh, specular on all your materials. I forgot to, uh, do that. 
as you can see it looks a little bit more crisp so if I render this out it's going to look a little bit more nicer um, so now we're going to go into our render settings by clicking this and output uh, do your monitor settings and then lock ratio and then you don't have to mess with any of this go save uh, save it whatever you want I'm just going to save it I guess to my desktop as render and then PNG and then also if you want the sky if you want like no sky uh, check alpha channel or if you have a sky just uh, keep it unchecked uh, go to okay so now what you want to do is go effect go ambient inclusion global illumination and you can leave ambient inclusion go global illumin global illumination now if you have a beast computer that can render things really fast uh, go samples go high go irradiance cache go high go least squares to uh, leave that at least squares medium to very heavy and that's gonna give you very very nice shading now on my case I don't have a very nice computer so I'm gonna go minimal low go sampling low and then that's still gonna give some nice shading but it's not gonna take a long time to render so once you have that you're gonna go into anti annihilating and uh, yours is probably gonna be like something like this what you wanna do is you wanna go to best uh, 2 by 2 and then 4 by 4 and then you're gonna leave that and that's gonna give you some nice uh, some nice shading so I'm just gonna quickly render this out so you can see uh, as you can see it's taking longer because of the ambient inclusion but also as you can see it's giving nicer um, a nicer shading I should say to it so uh, I'm just gonna speed this up while it renders So there you go guys, here is uh, the finished uh, look of what the lighting will be. Um, so hope you enjoyed this Cinema 4D tutorial for low poly. Um, if you want more of these, like different types, I can do that. So uh, I guess, yeah, if you want more of these, leave a comment down below and uh, I'm out. Peace.